want to keep track of things in your life, but in an automated way. Today, we will look at the automation for home assistant counters that logs your daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly coffee intake. With years, I am getting more conscious of my health, so limiting caffeine intake may not be a bad idea. You can, of course, adapt this to any other quantifiable activities in your life. First off, we need to create counters within home assistant. Some people may prefer input number helpers, and it can certainly achieve the same outcome, but I believe counters are an easier way of interaction, especially if you are bringing the physical world into the equation. For example, using smart button. To create a counter, just go to settings integrations and click helpers at the top right. Now click add helper at the bottom right and choose the type counter. Give it a friendly name and assign an icon. You won't need to do anything else here unless you need to for your particular case. Repeat this process to create weekly, monthly, and yearly counters until you have four. Those can now be added to your dashboard and you can even set a button type card to control the value of daily intake. For the just choose, single tap to call service counter increment and double tap to call service counter counter decrement. As you can see, it works really well already, but it doesn't change things for the other three counters. And this is where our automation comes in. Before we go into the main one, just a quick shout out to an automation that enables real life interactions with coffee. For example, I have a button on my coffee pods box that increments the daily value by one on press. You simply set a trigger button and an action to call service increment counter. Other options would be to place an NFC sticker or even to put a contact sensor on your box so that every time it opens, you get plus one to your consumption. There is also an option to employ your smartwatch as a mechanism, but I've decided to go through iOS actions in another video as the topic is relatively complex in itself, and I do not want this video to be more than five minutes long. Finally, let's get to the main automation, and this one is a little heavy on templating. Trigger-wise, it only works once a day at 11 in the evening and triggers a whole roster of actions. I'd like to thank Home Assistant Community for helping me to perfect this code. The first action will add our daily number to our weekly number by leveraging call service and a template to set values. To do that, we need to set weekly coffee to be a sum of its existing value and a value of a daily counter. If you're not entirely sure how to write the template, just pause the video and copy across, or alternatively, copy across from the description and add angled brackets. The next two actions are nearly identical. They add daily value to monthly and yearly counters in the exact same fashion. Pay attention to detail here as it is very easy to duplicate two counters and get the wrong outcome. The fourth action will send a notification to your chosen device with the summary of your daily and weekly intake. You can choose to add monthly and yearly values here, though I personally decided against that to keep the update short and sweet. Now all that's left is to give it a slight delay and first reset the daily counter. This action should happen every day, hence why there are no conditions attached. Finally, the last two actions are conditions and used to reset your weekly and monthly counters. For the weekly one, we simply choose Sunday as a condition and it will only reset this counter every Sunday at, you guessed it, 11 p.m. For the monthly one, we will have to use a small template as a condition. It ensures that this is the 30th day of the month and only then will reset the counter. You may want to choose the first of every month if you prefer, though I'd then recommend changing the trigger time to early morning. Appreciate this automation, involves some heavier templating, but it is worth it as it can be reused multiple times. The resulting notifications for this automation will look like this. And here you have it, monitoring quantifiable elements of your lifestyle and improving your habits on auto. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.